Hello everyone and welcome to Teen Take and Make. This week we're making some clay gratitude leaves. To start off, it might be helpful to create a list of things you're grateful for. And while not exhaustive, this is certainly a good starting point for me. You're going to start by rolling each of your clay pieces out into snakes. You'll notice that I have a piece of plastic wrapped down on my counter and that's because it can bleed onto your counter. Once each of your colors have been rolled out, it's time to put them together into one large snake and then twist and twist and twist. Then fold your new long snake in half and then twist and twist again. It might look something like this when you're finished twisting. At this point, just go ahead and smush it into a ball and take care that you can see all of the colors all the way through your ball. Maybe yours will look something like this. Once your clay is sufficiently marbled, it's time to roll it out. I'm using a glass here and being very careful, only because I like to see the marbling that comes through. If you want to use a traditional rolling pin, please do. You're looking for your clay to be approximately a quarter of an inch thick and have some nice marbling like this. It's time to pick your preferred leaf. For me, that's the aspen leaf. You go ahead and cut it out, place it on top of your marbled clay, and then trace the outline into your clay. Once you've finished tracing the outline, it's time for you to write your words of gratitude onto your leaf. For myself, that's family. And then to make my leaf a little more lifelike, I very gently etched the leaf veins into my leaf. Now it's time to bake your leaf at 275 for 15 to 20 minutes. Once your leaf is completely cool, put it in a place where you can always see the things you're thankful for. We want to thank you for participating in another one of our virtual programs. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.